Lydia Daydal and Make Connect TV and I'm standing backstage at the NACE K1 and Kickboxing event in Clane GA with the victorious Mr. Pat Brennan. Congratulations. Thank you very much. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. You were you were obviously at a boxing fight? Yes. Yeah, yeah. brilliant. Got the win. Yeah. yeah, I got the win. Yeah. And, and uh, it was um, it was a good fight. I'm very thankful to the fighter and most yeah. of all thankful to David Blasky and the, the, the um, producer of the next kickboxing. Yes, so. absolutely. Mm. So how did this fight come about? Um, I've been training with David for the past couple of years. Yeah. And he, he just says, put your name down. So I yeah. put my name down. <laughs> Not expecting it so much. So this is my second time. I did one last year as well. No way. So is it just boxing that you're doing or are you doing kickboxing as no, well? No, I do kickboxing, but because I've got a new knee, which is three years old. No way. I, I don't... Uh, <laughs> I don't do, I don't, I don't compete in kickboxing, yeah. I just do it. Boxing is, is my sport. Yeah. So, have you all, is it just since you went to the nice kickboxing that you started, or have you got a background? No, I've got a background. Arts? I've got okay. a background. Yeah. Inform me, tell me. Sorry? What, tell me about your background. When did you start? Was it boxing or was it kickboxing? No, I started boxing, and then I was into karate, and then I was into taekwondo, and then it was, yeah. and came back to my first love, which is boxing. Walk, walk in here, so make sure you're in the shots. Boxing was your first love. Boxing's so tell me, I, I forgive my ignorance, but have you, uh, you strike me as someone maybe who's a little bit accomplished? Not in really, not no? in the scheme of things, no. Okay, so no. Uh, do we have any titles or, you know, was it just to compete for fun? Not really, I, I, I boxed in, in uh, I boxed here, I boxed in Canada, I boxed in Australia, I boxed wow. in America, so. And was it professional? Some was professional, yeah, yeah in, in Australia and America was professional. Yeah, amazing. But here it was, it was all amateur. So, and you've kept at it? Kept I just at stayed it. at it because I think you can compete with yourself towards yeah. the end. I think age is, is I'm 73, Yeah. so wow. age shouldn't mean you know people especially in ireland they decide when they're 35 36 they got to reach for the rosary beads and get down the yes. knees and prepare <laughs> for the next world yes. there's still not a living to be done in this world yeah absolutely you know so one of the reasons i do it is that i hope that people who are in the 30s 40s 50s 60s 70s 80s i trained in australia with people that were over 80. yeah you know in, in taekwondo yeah and uh, i just would like if people were to yeah, look, look, part of their fitness. Absolutely, and it is a mindset, right? I mean, it, very it much age so. is very much just a number, yeah. right? I train with, with, I love training with young people. I don't socialize with them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't compete there, yeah. but uh, I love to train with young people. Yeah, because they give me inspiration, and hopefully, I give them a little bit of inspiration to yeah. keep going. So that that would be. Do you find it? Do you find the environment hard? You know, do you find it hard to train, or is it just no, enjoyable? No, I love training. I yeah. just love training. Um, it's difficult. Herb Elliott, who was a, a great miler runner, he said the hardest thing to do is to get into your tracksuit. Yes. And that's, that's true. Absolutely. Whether you decide to go running or decide to go to the gym. Yeah. The most difficult part is to decide, I'm going to go to the gym, put on my tracksuit and go. Yeah. How do you find the physical aspects of it? Because obviously love the it. older that you get... Oh, I just love it. it really, and because yeah. I know, like, you know, from being in my 20s and now being in my 30s when I train, you know, if I train three or four days in a row, I'm yeah. like, oh, just my back or my arm. Yeah, but you know, the do, more do you, you do, the less yes. the less pain you'll have. Exactly. And the, the more of a mindset to yeah. get, you know, it, it gives... I, I believe that energy creates energy. The more energy you use, the more energy you create. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, you're an inspiration. Thank you, know you very I mean? much. You're, you're definitely, the, I've never interviewed anyone in their 70s before, never mind someone that's just competed. But it, it happens, you know, people in Japan and, in, in, and who do the martial arts in Japan yeah. and places, they train in their 80s, mm -hmm. 90s. Yeah. You know, guys in, in, in uh, and it doesn't matter about your height or your, your, your weight, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, once you keep training, and you kind of compete with your, like, I don't have a hope against those young guys, and a lot of older yeah. guys, I don't have a hope against them either, mm -hmm. because I know my limitations. Yes. And I know that the people I train with, everybody, every one of them would probably wipe the floor with me. Yeah. But I just love training with them, and I love being part of the system, and I love being part of David, who is who is an exceptional coach. Fantastic. Coach, yes. you know, he's a fantastic guy, mm -hmm. and in every in every way. Yeah. And sometimes I think, especially for young people, you actually train for your coach to impress your coach more mm -hmm. than you do for yourself. And I think that's that's the, the ideal of a good coach. Yes. That absolutely. you're actually training to impress him rather mm -hmm. than trying to prove something. Amazing. What would you say to anyone that's that's of the, the, the older community that might watch Please this? Please come back. Yeah. Train. <laughs> yeah. Get out. Get into your yeah. tracksuit and train. And yeah. Go to, to Nace Kickboxing or go to, to which I believe is the best gym that outside of Australia is the best gym I've ever been yeah. in. And, and I've trained in Dublin. I've trained in Nace. I've trained in lots of places. Yeah. And, I, and I believe this one is the best that I've, I've come well, across. Well, you're right. He is a phenomenal coach. Absolutely. You've got a phenomenal team out there, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
and he does so much for the young people and the guys just love him he yeah. is one of these inspirational people. He is, he is. And you're inspiration yourself. Thank Let's not you, forget man. about yourself. <laughs> Absolutely. But listen, congratulations again. It was a pleasure to talk to you. And Thank a pleasure you to see you fight. I'm delighted that Thank I caught you. it. And I got some good footage Hopefully as well. So we'll have a nice video <laughs> up there. <laughs> the old swinger in town. Oh, the swinger in town. Well, listen, age is nothing but a so number. Much. Thank you very much. Pat Brennan Thank for you. MA Connect TV. Thank so we just have one little thing to add. Okay. Go for it. Um, I just want to thank most sincerely my opponent uh, on Ishka Dial. For, it's not easy to get people to fight old fellas. So thank you very much, uh, Owen, and really appreciate it. And I think he wants a rematch. And I think I want a rematch. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff, Pat. Take it okay, easy. Pat Brennan, no problem. See you later. <laughs>